This is a quick walk around of my uh, Suzuki SX4. It's been requested by a lot of people. Uh, I will try to, uh, as best as I can to explain everything that's been done to it. It is a 2013 model Suzuki SX4 J20B Turbo. Uh, the transmission is a 6-speed all-wheel drive. The engine is a J20B, so it's a 2-liter with 16 valves, dual overhead cam, variable cam on the intake side, variable valve timing. Uh, the turbo kit is full custom. Uh, nothing on the market like this. It is a Garrett GT2860. Full custom piping for the intercooler. Intercooler is the same side intercooler. The piping is very short, so it's a very responsive turbo setup. I get max boosts at around 2500 to 3000 3, RPM. And uh, it boosts all the way up to 6500 RPM. Uh, the turbo inlet is aluminum with a Apollo k &N filter on it. Uh, the blow-off valve is a tile. The external wastegate is also a tile. I have here a nice screamer pipe that sticks out the hood. Fully functional hood, by the way. Custom louvers I drew and uh, bent myself. This helps to extract all the excess heat. The uh, manifold is also custom made. Full custom uh, exhaust. Stainless steel exhaust, so it's a 3-inch turbo back. No catalytic converters, only a resonator and a muffler. I've wrapped all the little hosing with heat wrap tape, so that'll help, you know, with uh, lowering the temperatures. The oil filter is uh, stock, at stock location, and I have a improved racing thermostat that goes to a engine oil cooler that is actually hidden behind here. As you can see, there's holes in the grill. Well, there's a block off plate that sucks air in directly to that oil cooler. It's hidden in there. So I got a seven row oil cooler for it. Headlights, custom made by me. Uh, Morimoto components, Mini H1, uh, turbine shrouds, Demon Eyes, RGB. And it has HID bulbs, 50, 5500 uh, or 6500K lighting. The fuel system is full custom, so it's a custom fuel rail, big injectors, all the uh, fuel lines are PTFE uh, stainless steel braided, ready for E85. This is a Tomei fuel pressure regulator, fuel return line, vacuum block to manage everything vacuum wise. I have a boost gauge that is hooked on here. The system that I use to cool the engine is a water methanol from AEM. It's a V3 kit. So that, as soon as I hit boost, around 3, three PSI's of boost, it'll start spraying. The car, it boosts presently at 10 PSI. It makes 280 wheel horse, 260 wheel torque at 4,000 RPM. I can uh, increase the boost level to 14 PSI, which will uh, bring me to 310 wheel horsepower, 290 foot-pounds of torque to the wheels at 4,000 RPM. Um, the stock ECM is still there, but it is only to control the dash. Uh, I don't have a custom dash for it, so I still kept the stock ECM uh, to control the dash. I wanted speedometer, fuel, coolant, whatever. The rest of the engine management is done by Haltech. It is a Haltech Elite 1500. It is actually hidden right under here. So my Haltech is very well hidden there. Uh, it has been tuned by Perfect Tuning, which is a company, a local company, Dyno Tuned. And uh, obviously in the inside, I have a nice likewise shifter, extended shifter. This is also equipped with a short shift. So I have uh, maybe 35% to 40% less throw up, down, and it, it is very nice. It helps uh, quicker shifts and everything. I have a boost gauge and an air fuel ratio gauge. I will have very soon a perfect tuning gauge here that'll tell me all the other parameters with a small OLED display. The other thing that I did with this car is a lot of weight reduction. No rear seats, no spare. Relocated the battery in the back couple of grounds here and there to solidify the ground and battery system it is very very light it weighs around 2,500 pounds if you open the rear hatch 
I have behind here a AEM water methanol system. The pump is hidden right there. No more spare here. So this closes very nicely. And as you can see, I have a custom made diffuser. That'll help bring the parachute effect down, the drag of the rear bumper. It splits the air very nicely and it is completely sealed all the way under there. The exhaust is a vibrant, all vibrant components, quad tip, sounds very, very good. Um, the tail lights are JDM LED tail lights, very rare, these are hard to find. Wheels are JNC Drift Kings 17 by 9, 28 offset. Brakes are uh, stop tech brakes in the rear. Hawk pads. Front brakes are stock for the moment. I will be getting Seika four piston rig brake kits with a 330 millimeter disc, uh, two piece disc. This this will help you know braking because right now it's not braking very well. The caliper and disc will arrive at will be around quarter inch shy of the wheels so it'll be very tight there but I'll, I'll be able to keep the 17 inch wheels these wheels are extremely light they're magnesium wheels they're very light for the moment I have Indy 500 tires I hate them they suck they don't grip well and they flex too too much uh, in curves I will be getting either a pilot sport 4s's from uh, Michelin or some hand cooked tires I don't know yet but I will definitely be upgrading the tires because they very, very, these are terrible tires. Do not buy these, they suck. Um, the other thing too is everything bushing wise on this car has been upgraded. So all the suspension control arm table bushings have been upgraded to polyurethane. Rear suspension beam bushings, full polyurethane, very stiff car, very responsive. Engine mount front and rear have been upgraded to uh, polyurethane. And uh, I'm probably missing a lot of other details. I have a rear sway bar on this. Uh, I don't have a big sway bar in the front. I used to have one, but it didn't help with the coilovers. I have coilovers that are uh, Indy, uh, I mean, uh, Megan Racings. They are Rally Spec Series. Very nice coilovers, fully adjustable. If I can get a clear picture of them, they're right there. Uh, I didn't lower the car too much. I like to get, keep a little bit of right height just in case I get I hit bumps. Uh, besides that, that pretty much sums it up. I may be forgetting a lot of things on this car because there's been a lot that's been done to it. And engine is stock, transmission is stock as well. I didn't upgrade any of the internals on this and it's taking boost very well. Very high compression ratio engine, but the boost level and the, the weight it's tuned, it, it is very, very stable. And the ride is incre incredibly, uh, incredibly powerful ride. I mean, this is this car is very light, so it has um, calculated it 0 0.14 power to weight ratio. So it is very quick, um, very sleek, and for the moment it is very fun. But I plan on upgrading a little bit more. Uh, so this is it, my Suzuki SX4. Check my other videos for the sound. Check my other videos for the dyno tune. This car is incredible. There's nothing like this on this planet. I have it. If you, if you have questions, you can always comment. And I'll try my best to answer your questions. But yeah, this is it. And uh, this car is incredibly fast. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Don't be shy. If you have questions, it's my pleasure to answer them. This car has been hell for the last four years for me. It's been hell. None of this has been easy to make and it's been costly. One thing I forgot, I got a big radiator full aluminum, overflow tank as well connected, uh, helps with cooling. Radiator hoses are stainless steel, nice couplers that I painted. So if you, as if you notice, it is metal cast red, intake manifold, filter, catch can, which is a Mishimoto by the way, three port, very good catch can. And uh, yeah, 
I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but I'm sure I am because there's been so much that's, that's been done on this. Thanks, guys.